stood trial and went to jail. In the end, he also found a man who arrested Anne Frank. He was still a policeman working at police headquarters, ten minutes away from where my father works. Of course, he himself didn't matter. Compared to all the other names in the files, he was a nobody, a zero. But the figure before the zero was Anne Frank. She was not forgotten. None of them have been forgotten. Documentation center. One moment, please. Let me take down your name. After the break, Adam Faith dons the guise of the shadiest detective in London. That Shady Tales, next on Thames. Thames, and this bank holiday Monday at 9, the Clint Eastwood premiere, Pale Rider, a story of justice. We need a miracle. When the gold diggers get what they've worked for, a ruthless tycoon tries to crush them. You must weigh all four ounces. That's a quarter pound of gold. See that? Will you and your friends get 24 hours to pack up and leave? <laughs> And this means war. Who are you? Well, it really doesn't matter, does it? Pale Rider, the Clint Eastwood premiere, this bank holiday Monday at 9 on Thames. May the gloss in Ross be a good gloss. May the window sills of Winchester shine. Actually, uh, it's been ages. How are you? It's all so much talk, don't you think? I mean, nothing ever really happens. The debate? 
Oh, I don't know. I think we've. Oh, she's got a point. We've got the worst record in Europe in this. Yes, but look at the law. Worse than Italy. Yes, if you look at the figures for graduates. Ah, yes. Figures for graduates. Yes, it's rather revealing. After six years in a job, there are at least two grades down. This is exactly my point. I mean, it's all very well having a policy, but until there's some kind of enforcement to back it up. Yes, and it certainly can't happen spontaneously. Isn't it funny how some women prefer a good mind to a pretty face? Skilled labour, and they could set a good example themselves just for a start. Announcing a spray cleaner that can wipe out those tough targets. New flash spray wipes out the targets you find all around your home. New flash spray has the power to easily cut through grease and quickly lift ground in dirt without rinsing. So quickly you could even catch a moving target. New flash spray wipes out dirt in a flash. Glucosaid, the refreshing glucose drink. One of the ten water and sewage businesses of England and Wales is Thames Water. prone to the occasional mishap, help is at hand. A new liquid's been launched, Surf Automatic Liquid. It has the power to remove tough dirt and stains at low temperatures, and it leaves clothes smelling fresh and feeling soft. So for outstandingly clean clothes at low temperatures, Time and again, try new Surf Automatic Liquid, the new wave in cleaning. You can get Cheshire cheese in three colors. Personally, I prefer the blue. Any way you please it, cheese it. This Quarkast Concord cuts as cleanly as a pair of scissors and leaves a magnificent finish especially around these tricky little rockeries. Get the lawn right, and the whole place starts to look better. The different shows where a Qualcast mows. This year, management and I have again decided we don't need silly gimmicks to promote Capital Radio. Instead, we're going to give you what you really want, more great music, more of the hottest hits, one right after another. We know you want plenty of fun and prizes too, but the music's the main thing. That's why our crack engineer has just wired up another brand new turntable. All set, lads? Great. Capital Radio, London's music power with no silly gimmicks. From the centre of your city to the centre of your FM dial. Capital Radio at 95.8 FM in stereo. London's music power. Our crack engineer assures me that this is not a silly gimmick, right? Right. My guest tonight has been writing for television for almost 30 years. Everything from Z cars to the Beiderbecke connection. Last month at BAFTA, the industry's annual and prestigious bean feast, not only did Alan Plater pick up an award for writing the best drama series, a very British coup, he was also given the special BAFTA Writers Award for services to television over the past quarter of a century. Meet Alan Plater and discover the books by his bedside at 1.30 tonight. Now, the last in the present series of Shady Tales.
keep your head down. Now look, if you're gonna stay here, don't get in the way. I'm on a strange little case tonight. I've had a tip from one of my sources, and he says that there's gonna be a bit of cash and carry going on here tonight, with the emphasis definitely on the carry, if you get my drift. So, yours truly, Gordon Shade, private investigator, decided to do a bit of creative freelancing. And I offered to keep watch here tonight, in return for a little financial consideration, of course. Well, why not? I mean, it keeps me off the streets, doesn't it? Now, you'll understand the significance of all this when I tell you who the owners of this warehouse are. The Pollards, that's right. The Pollards of Deptford. Not a pretty sight at all. And Frankie Pollard, the old man, better known as Polyfiller Pollard on account of all the dodgy deals that he's done, and his sons were not too impressed when I first told them what was up. Strangely skeptical he was. Said no one, but no one would dare to turn this place over. He only wanted to know where I got my information from, didn't he? But Gordon Shade does not reveal his sources. <laughs> All a question of morals, isn't it? Ethics, you see. Can't give away your sources. Otherwise, the whole structure of civilization collapses, doesn't it? So, I struck a deal. Whereby I would find out who had the cheek to attempt to relieve South London's most notorious family of what was rightfully theirs.